Hello students, welcome back to our channel Diksha Karnataka. Today we are diving into a topic which might shake your career plan. That is why you should not choose computer science after 12th. Now before you grab your keyboards and start typing angry comments, hear me out. Computer science is a field where many students join blindly by getting attracted with the promise of high salaries, exciting career opportunities and with the influence of great tech giants. But is computer science really the right choice for everyone? So in this video, we are going to explore some surprising reasons why computer science might not be the right choice for you. Starting from the intense competition in the job market to the risk of burnout, we are going to uncover all the realities of this tech world. So if you are ready to challenge the crowd and think out of the box, let's get started. So now before starting, first let us understand why computer science is so popular in like so popular branch. So the first reason for this is high demand for tech skills in various industries. Now the various industries in the world has moved towards technology. Everything is now driven by technology. So that is why there is a great demand for the computer science graduates. Second, lucrative career opportunities with attractive salaries. So these companies offer a very high package, which is the main reason why the students after 12th want to pursue computer science. Third. Versatility in job roles from software development to data science. So computer science have a lot of uh, areas where you can work starting from the software development to data science and because of this versatility in the opportunities, it is also a reason why computer science is in great demand. Now technology driven world pushing for innovation and digital solutions, right? So. Uh, in a way, we can say these are the reasons why computer science is so popular and everyone wants to join computer science after 12th. But now, let us start looking towards the downside of this. Yes, so now if you see the first, the cons of the computer science. First is market saturation. So what is this now? High competition. Now, the immense popularity of the computer science has led to a saturation in the job market, making it difficult for the new graduates to find jobs. Yes, if you find here, now already the computer science, the job market of computer science is already saturated and there are very few opportunities for the new students who are going to graduate. So now if you see here, the IT industry is volatile with the frequent layoff and outsourcing. So every day you can hear news where like Google, Microsoft, you can all, you, have, you might have heard news that many people were laid off at the same time, right? So job security has really decreased because of the saturation in the job market. Now, the second thing here is misalignment with the interest. Now, choosing a field slow, solely based on its popularity or the influence of peers and parents can lead to dissatisfaction. So if you are going for choosing computer science solely because your friends are choosing, your parents are telling you to choose this one, that may lead to a lot of dis dissatisfaction because it is you who is going to study tomorrow for the next four years. So if you are not satisfied, you are not interested in this field and you join this, so you will definitely be demotivated, dissatisfied and you cannot concentrate in your studies. So students often enroll in CSE under the assumption that it guarantees a successful career, right? We generally be believe that, okay, if you have taken CS, placement is 100%, like we'll definitely get a very good package. But if they lack genuine interest in the technology or programming, they may struggle academically and professionally. So computer science can guarantee a job for those students who are genuinely interested in this field. But if you're not interested and just have joined following the crowd, then you will not be able to perform well academically as well as professionally. Now coming to the third point here, that is, uh, misconceptions about the field. So what is what are the misconceptions that we have about the computer science field? So computer science involves complex theoretical concepts beyond just software development, which may not appeal to those seeking practical skills. So we may think that computer science is all about creating softwares and all, but there is a lot of theoretical knowledge is also involved in this uh, particular branch. So a student interested in building apps might find themselves frustrated by the emphasis on abstract topics like AI in CS program. Okay, So you might be thinking that 
computer science is all about developing software so we'll be very creative we'll be doing more uh, apps for this thing for that thing we'll be thinking but once you join the curriculum is not only about software development rather it involves many theoretical concepts many complex concepts that might not be of your use or might not be of your interest coming to the fourth one that is rapidly changing technology landscape this is very very important point here now skills can quickly become obsolete due to the technological advancements creating uncertainty about future prospects now you see every day some new technology is coming right so whatever you have you have studied now like you while you join when you join first year whatever you studied that will be required after four years or not we do not know right because of the new technologies coming every day there is a huge chance that whatever you are studying now may get outdated by the time you pass out right so there is a very good example here a student focused on learning java and c++ might find these languages outdated by graduation requiring them to learn new skills so the point of saying this is every time you have to upgrade yourself okay because technology is something that is changing every day so you must be in a race of completing like updating yourself continuously okay so now coming to the fifth point here that is limited career exploration so early commitment to cs can prevent exploring other fields that may have better aligned with your interest and skills so now when you have already made a perspective in your mind that i want to join computer science after 12th you have already decided that then you will not go for exploring other career options which might match with your interest right so the having that perception from before restrict you from Uh, exploring other career opportunities like a student passionate about sustainability may miss the opportunities in environmental engineering by focusing solely on cs so now suppose you have you are very much interested about environment and sustainable environment and thing but once you have have that mindset in like you have developed that mindset that yes we have to join computer science because everyone is doing that parents are forcing that so you cannot think of Uh, like think of going out of the computer science and doing something right so that is very very important now strong mathematical foundation is required now cs requires a solid grasp of mathematics which can be a significant barrier for those students who struggle with maths now suppose you haven't uh, you don't have any background in biology or you're not interested in biology and someone pushes you to the medical profession how will be your life the same thing happens here if you are not interested in mathematics okay computer science has like mathematics has a very important role in the computer science department or in this course so if you are not someone who are very much interested in maths and you are just going and uh, joining this course because of the peer pressure and because of the parents and because that you are not knowing this fact then later you might have to suffer So a creative writing student might find the mathematical concepts in CS overwhelming leading to frustration okay so someone who is very much interested in literature and all and cannot uh, be like cannot sustain in this field they will feel frustrated they will feel demotivated okay now let us discuss the seventh point in our list that is theoretical focus versus practical skills so what is this one now many CS programs prioritize theory over practical skills disengaging the students who prefer hands on learning so if there are certain students who are very much interested about practical learning and if they join computer science it will be frustrating for them because this subject involves a lot of theoretical knowledge now for example if you see a web development enthusiasts might find themselves frustrated by the focus on the computer architecture in their cs curriculum so someone who is very much interested about web development doing practical things and they are now taught about architecture in the cs curriculum obviously the students here will be demotivated right now coming to the eighth point potential for job dissatisfaction this is very very important point potential for job dissatisfaction is very high in this field now cs graduates may end up in jobs that don't match their interest leading to dissatisfaction and poor performance so 
if you are not satisfied and interest in your jobs you cannot grow further right so that is why there is a high chance that you are getting jobs which is not of your interest and that's why there may be job dissatisfaction a student passionate about ux design might find themselves stuck in a software engineering role prioritizing functionality over aesthetics yes so suppose you are some as i told you as we discussed in the starting that computer science has a lot of career opportunities so there is a huge chance that you are interested in something but you are getting placed in some other of other field of computer science like for example if you are interested about ux design and you are getting placed as a software engineer right so your interest and your placement do not match so this happens very often with all the computer graduates they generally do not get the uh, the field in which they are really interested so there is a high probability of job dissatisfaction now coming to the ninth slide ninth point here that is availability of alternative career path yes so although everyone is going is running behind computer science but we should not forget that there are alternative career paths also which can match your interest your passion and your strength for example fields like data science and digital marketing offer fulfilling careers without the intense competition of cs so when you see the cut off also so computer science and data science and if you see digital uh, for artificial intelligence and machine learning okay information science so these are also the branches where the competition is not very high but as well they are very exciting and interesting branches as well okay so a student interested in analytics might find greater satisfaction in data analysis than the traditional cs roles so if someone who is very interested in, with playing with data with numbers and also they can choose data science over cs to lead a satisfactory life okay yes so now we have discussed the top 9 reasons why you should not join computer science but let me tell you very frankly here computer science no doubt is a very great and demanding branch for the students but you must consider is it the right thing for everyone just following the crowd just following your peers just taking parental pressure and just looking at the salaries and all and taking a decision to join computer science without having a genuine interest in this that is what is not correct okay so please find out your interest if you are really interested in computer science if the if really the algorithms of computer science interest you then definitely go for it there's no doubt in that but if you are not interested in this field so please do not jump into this crowd and make your and spoil your life rather go for some alternative options which may interest you and which might be aligning with your passion and your strength okay so yes that was the motto for this video to tell you that don't follow the crowd blindly don't follow computer science blindly look at the options other options that might match your interest and then decide okay so thank you for watching this video and if you have found this video helpful please like share and subscribe the channel